I'm joined today here with uh, Kim Crockett from the Bee Fisher Foundation. Mm. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. Well, it's great to have you here. Uh, last time you were in talking, previewing the New Year's Eve gala that uh, was coming up. It's passed now. How it exciting is. was it to be able to have this event again? Had the first one in 2019 and had to wait a little bit. How exciting was it to get back into oh, it? Oh, it was absolutely huge to be able to get it back again. Um, knowing that we had uh, so much momentum coming out of the very first one and then uh, a bit of a wrench got thrown into the plans for the next few years mm -hmm. and then to come back this year in the way that it came off uh, w there was obviously some uncertainty how it would come off yeah. with that big of a gap and uh, it, it was basically seamless uh, all the momentum from the first year came carried forward to the next one we are thrilled with how it came together that's great to hear I know the community really seemed to rally they around did it. they absolutely did so when we talk about uh, the reason that you were holding it, the, mm -hmm. what you were trying to raise money for was uh, to renovate the kitchens at the 24-hour home. So t we can talk a little bit about sure. uh, just how successful was it, how much money was raised to go towards that project. You bet. Um, well, we, uh, we were really thankful to raise almost $90,000 from this event. And uh, interestingly, that is what we feel is going to be pretty close to being able to uh, cover the budget to renovate the four kitchens at the care homes that we'd like to take care of. So we're very close with it, enough that we are going to start going after these projects this year. Um, That's exciting. Really, now it's just a matter of getting the planning in place and starting to make that happen. And so I'm assuming, uh, obviously, it's still early days, mm -hmm. but uh, do you think once we get around New Year's again that there might be another one coming up here? That is absolutely our plan. Actually, we've already started making a few plans nice. for 2023 New Year's Eve. So yes, uh, I, I'd love to share all sorts of details. We're going to be coming up with them during the upcoming months, but uh, right now I can certainly say, yes, we are planning to bring it back for 2023. That's exciting. And once we get closer to that, obviously, I'll uh, talk with you again. We yeah. can get all those information uh, out to people. But uh, something that we can talk about now, and then yeah. something that's going to be coming up in a little bit here, uh, is the Bee Fisher is going to be having some online auctions. Can you kind of take us through what's going to happen with that? Yeah, you bet. So. Uh, when we did the New Year's Eve gala, it had a, a fairly specific purpose and, uh, you know, obviously a fundraising and our, and our goal was to raise enough money to uh, renovate these four kitchens we had mm -hmm. in mind. But those aren't the only projects that we need to take care of in our care homes and there's still the need to do some fundraising to cover additional projects. Everything from flooring to painting, uh, more yard improvements, uh, the, the list goes on. I think anybody that owns a home knows what that's like. Yeah. And so it's the same thing for us when we have 12 care homes to uh, take care of we know there, there's going to be some costs. And so the online auction, that started last year, and we had just amazing success with that. Uh, over 110 items, services, uh, some sort of donation were given from uh, individuals, businesses, they might be business services, uh, they could be household goods. I remember salons for some reason that pops to mind. A number of salons all came up and w provided all sorts of gift packages. But really anything of value that we can in turn uh, sell to, you know, the, basically the general public, mm -hmm. that was the purpose of the auction is to raise funds through that format. And we loved it because it was an opportunity for the, such, such a wide variety of the community to get yeah. involved. Uh, when we did the gala, you know, there's a limit to how many people can come out to that. And we had, we were so thankful to have 400 people come out as a complete sellout. With an online auction, there is really no limit to how many people can come and participate in something like that, whether it be as a donor or as a bidder. Um, there's multiple opportunities to get involved with that one. So it's a great one for the, just the entire community to enjoy. So are you still uh, open for people that might have things that they want to donate for oh, the auction? For sure, yeah. We are in that point now. We're starting to gather items. Uh, we have a few have actually already come in. Uh, some, some big items, some smaller items, but the things have started to trickle in. And so at this point in time, uh, the simplest thing is simply to give us a phone call okay. uh, at our admin office, 875-3633. Uh, you can ask for me and we can start taking care of getting those donations uh, in. And on our website within the next probably week, week and a half, we'll probably have some updated information, just giving people some teasers, what to look forward to once we get the online auction up and running. It seems like it's a really good idea, um, a good way to obviously support a local organization like the mm -hmm. Bee Fisher, but also kind of get your business out there as well. Maybe if you have, like for to say a salon, maybe someone hasn't gone there, they won yes. the package, gave it to someone else, and then they're like, oh, I love this salon. So it kind of, it's a win-win for businesses. And I've had an opportunity to chat with uh, a few people who have got relatively new businesses in the area, mm -hmm. and they've already made a, a, uh, some comments along that line that says, hey, this would just be one way to maybe increase my exposure a little bit. Yeah. If I can give them an opportunity to uh, get their product or their service in front of hundreds and maybe a thousand people or more, 
uh, it, it seems like a win for everybody. So that's what we're really excited about it. And like I say, um, in just over a month, so uh, beginning of, uh, sorry, at the end of February, that's when we're actually going to go live with it. Awesome. So people need to keep their eyes on you know, your website, social that's media right. channels, just to see uh, when, when things are going to start up. That's there. right. That's awesome. exactly right. Uh, just before we go, I was going to ask, is uh, if for people who want to help out uh, the bee fisher in any kind of way, because there's a lot of different opportunities for people and there's a lot of mm -hmm. work that the bee fisher does here in the community, yeah. um, what's the best way for them to go about maybe uh, looking into um, maybe volunteer or other opportunities? It's an interesting question. We've had, I think one of the best examples I can give you was uh, earlier this year, I had a phone call from a coach of a local hockey team. And he was looking for an opportunity for some of his boys to get involved. And these were teenage kids, okay. uh, but just looking for a chance that they could, you know, just do something within the community. And we got them connected up with a number of our care homes. And now uh, when the snow flies, and we had certainly no shortage of that back in oh, November yeah. and December, um, our care home managers were able to contact them directly and a number of times they came out and did some of the snow removal for us okay. when our, some of our own staff just weren't able to get to it quite as timely because they're taking care of the individuals in the homes. Uh, some of these hockey players, they came out and that's, you know, just gives you one idea of, uh, of how mm -hmm. some uh, local groups or even individuals can just tap on our shoulder and say, hey, what can we do to help? That was a great one and we've been so appreciative of things like that. Awesome. Well, that's a great story. Yeah. Too. I'm glad I asked that question. And uh, thank you for coming in. It's always yeah. great to find out uh, what's going on and how people can uh, support uh, such a great organization like oh. Bee Fisher. Well, I always appreciate the opportunity to say, be able to say what's going on in, in Bee Fisher's world. There's, there's lots happening. And uh, thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, thank you.